All right, y'all. So we got our template set up looking good. And check this out. So whenever we click red, it's going to take us to the details view for that Taylor Swift album. Whenever we click skate park, it's going to take us to the details view from that band that I, you know, I knew in high school. But check this out. Whenever we go to a URL like uh, 43, hmm. You see, we don't have an album with the ID of 43, yet our web page is going to try to display this. And that's usually not a good thing because what we want to do is if the user or if we go to a website and we don't have the resources to actually display information, we want to send a 404. So I know you guys have been in those websites before where it says 404 error. That means that, I don't know, like maybe someone made a post and deleted it or maybe someone like, uh, had a item on their shop for sale, but it got sold out. So they just deleted it Basically a 404 means we don't have the resources to display or it got deleted or something like that Now that's the proper way to do things. So that's what we're gonna want to do in Django. So In order to use these 404 messages you do this so from Django HTTP import http 404 all right so let's go ahead and make it for that details view so the first thing i'm going to do in here is just make a details template so new html file i'll just name it a uh, detail all right so we can get rid of this for now and our details template we won't worry about what exactly is inside there right now but we do know that we're going to want to not return this all right, now instead of just returning some HTTP response without even checking if the ID is valid, what we wanna do is we wanna to try to query the database and we wanna see if there's an album with the ID that they typed in. If there is, then we can just go ahead and display this template. But if there's not, then instead of sending back a normal response, we wanna send back an HTTP 404 response. So what we do is we make a try accept statement and I'm just gonna first go ahead and try to get their album ID. So I'll say album equals album objects. And you remember how we get a specific album, just one of them. We either have to use PK or ID, doesn't really matter. And this is gonna be equal to whatever ID they passed in. So we're gonna look for the album with the ID of one or two or 74, whatever. Now, most of the time, as long as the ID is valid, then this is going to work perfectly. However, if they type something in like 700 and we can't get that item, then what it's going to do is it's going to generate an album does not exist error. So we'll say accept album does not exist. That means that, hey, um, that album, you know, maybe it was a typo, maybe it got deleted, whatever, but we don't have it in our database anymore. So how do we handle this? Well, to send back this 404 response, it's called raising, not raisins. That does sound kind of good though, raisins. HTTP 404. And this is actually a function where you can pass in a message and then that message gets displayed. Um, included in your 404. So I'll say album does not exist. All right. So hopefully they don't get that, but you know, they might, who knows. Now, another thing I want to do is just use this shortcut because that's a lot faster than, you know, what we learned before. And I'll show you guys even a cooler way. So you know how before what we did is we made this context, which is basically information that your template needs to work and we set it equal to a dictionary. Well, anytime you have a variable and you don't use it multiple times, you see how we just use this one other time, then what you can actually do is you can actually just take the value of it and use that instead. So variables are just for whenever you have a value and you use it over and over and over again in your program, whenever you don't and you just use it once, then you should probably just set it equal to the value unless the value is like something big like uh, you're reading in a document or something. So for this, we're just gonna throw in the album information and boom, roasted, everything is good to go. And actually this import right here, HTTP response, we aren't even using that for anything since we're just using render for everything. 
So we can just delete that, clean up our code even more, and let's clean this up even more while we're here. All right, so look how condensed our code is, yet we are learning more. Funny how things are. All right, so in our detail view, we probably should, you know, show something. What are we gonna show? We'll just do this. Album. So we'll just show the default view or the default string representation of that album. And oops, almost forgot. This is the detail.html. So this is the template that we're using for the detail view. And all right, so let's go ahead and refresh this, make sure everything's up to date and check it out. So whenever we go to this URL, music slash one, it displays red Taylor Swift, skate park slash myth, and we can do this all day. Now, if the user ever tries to do something stupid, like go to 54, then it's gonna say page not found, and this is our 404 response. Now, this is what I was talking about. Album does not exist. If you wanna give them a little clear indicator of why they are getting this, um, again, this is optional, but it's always a good idea to do. So there you go. Nice, mate. This is actually a pretty fun app if you ask me. All right. So, so far we learned a bunch of stuff, how to use templates, four or four messages, but still there's a lot of crap to cover. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I will smell you guys next time.